In a world filled with legends, one name stands out. A man who defies the limits of possibility, captivating audiences with his extraordinary talents. Brace yourself as we delve into the mesmerizing journey of a Turkish prodigy, Seljuk Bey. Welcome to Turkic Tales, the channel dedicated to exploring fascinating history, origins, and facts about the Turkic people. Today, we bring you an exceptional tale that transcends borders and showcases the remarkable talents of one of our own. Prepare to be captivated as we delve into the awe-inspiring life of Seljuk Bey. Seljuk Bey, a legendary figure, was born in the year 900. The origin of his name, shrouded in fascinating tales, holds two intriguing possibilities. Some believe that his name, Seljuk, signifies Little Flood, symbolizing the powerful force within him that would leave a lasting impact. Others claim that it translates to Small Raft, reminiscent of the Oguz's ingenious method of crossing rivers using rafts made from reeds and rushes along the Sehun River. According to ancient folklore, it is said that Seljuk Bey's name was inspired by the circumstances of his birth. Born on a modest raft, his entrance into the world mirrored the resourcefulness and resilience of his people. This symbolic beginning marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey for Seljuk Bey, where he would rise to become a beacon of inspiration and greatness, embodying the spirit of the Turkic people. Seljuk Bey was an important leader from the Kinnik clan in the Oguz tribe. He came from a long line of great rulers, tracing his ancestry back to Alp Er Tunga, a legendary figure respected by Vizier Nizamulmulk. Seljuk Bey inherited strong leadership qualities and a promising future as rulership passed down through his family. His father, Dukak, held a high position in the Oguz Yabgu state. He was known for his skills in administration, politics, and the military. People admired his bravery, strength, and ability to handle state affairs, which earned him the nickname Iron Bow. Dukak's influence was significant, and he once had a disagreement with the Yabgu over a mission that targeted a group of Turkish people. The argument became heated, and the Yabgu cut Dukak's face with his sword. But Dukak didn't back down and fought back, hitting the Yabgu on the head with his mace, causing him to fall from his horse. Initially, the Yabgu wanted to capture and execute Dukak, but the support of his loyal community prevented that. With the help of respected leaders and commanders, they found a solution and celebrated their reconciliation and unity with a big feast. Historical records mention Seljuk Bey's sons as Israel, Mikael, Musa, Yusuf, and or Yunus, names with connections to Judaism. Scholars have debated whether the Seljuk family had a Khazar Judaic or Nestorian Christian background prior to embracing Islam. However, Turkish historians caution against drawing conclusions solely based on names, as these names are widely used in the Islamic world. Unveiling the religious origins of the Seljuk family presents an intriguing puzzle that requires a comprehensive examination of historical context and cultural influences. Seljuk Bey's life took a dramatic turn when he faced jealousy and power struggles. After his father's death, he was entrusted with a position of responsibility in the Oguz Yabgu state. However, some people became envious of his rising popularity and influence, leading to concerns being raised to the Yabgu by a person named Hatun. Influenced by Hatun's words, the Yabgu made the unfortunate decision to get rid of Seljuk Bey. Knowing the danger he faced, Seljuk Bey had to leave the palace to escape an uncertain fate. The pressures from his own people, the lack of resources and pastures, and the growing strength of the Karakhanids, a powerful neighboring group, all played a part in his departure. Seljuk Bey and his tribe embarked on a brave journey of migration, leaving behind the complexities of their former state. They settled in the town of Jand, located near the Sirdaria River. The migration was said to include a significant number of people, with Seljuk Bey leading a group of horsemen, camels, and sheep. Jand was an important town at that time, serving as a gateway to the steppes and attracting a diverse mix of people. Jand's geographical position and cultural significance made it a vibrant place where knowledge, ideas, and trade flourished. Seljuk Bey's decision to settle in Jand had a profound impact on his tribe's future. 
it became a stepping stone for their continued journey, where the Turkic spirit merged with the complexities of the region, leaving a lasting legacy for the Seljuks in history. In a region between non-Muslim and Muslim lands, Seljuk Bey faced a crucial choice for his tribe's future. He believed it was important to assimilate with the local people in Kend, so he decided to adopt their religion and customs. Seljuk Bey quickly sent messengers to Zandek and Bukhara, important cities in Harizm, with a mission to spread Islamic teachings. The Oghuz, loyal to Seljuk Bey, embraced Islam eagerly, and its influence grew among them. After embracing Islam, Seljuk Bey broke ties with the non-Muslim Oghuz Yabgu state and other Turkish tribes. He aligned himself with the cause of jihad against them. Sadly, during one of these expeditions, his son Mikail, who was the father of Tugrul Beg and Chagri Beg, the future founders of the great Seljuk Empire, died as a martyr. To ensure the well-being of his grandchildren, Seljuk Bey followed ancient Turkic traditions. He entrusted their care and education to himself, while their mother Mikail's widow married Yusuf, Seljuk's other son. This period of change marked a turning point in Seljuk Bey's legacy. The Oghuz who followed him became known as Selasika, Selkukiyan, and Turkmen, names that would be remembered in history. Seljuk Bey's decision to embrace Islam and lead his tribe in a new direction had a lasting impact. It laid the foundation for the greatness and influence of the great Seljuk Empire. Seljuk Bey, known as El Melikul Ghazi, gained immense popularity and respect after embracing Islam. He waged relentless campaigns against non-Muslim Turkish groups and faced challenges from the Oghuz Yabgu state. Through his efforts, Send became a thriving center of the Seljuk Principality. News of Seljuk Bey's victories spread far and wide, attracting Turks from different lands to pledge their loyalty to this esteemed leader. His reputation and lineage drew people who revered the great dynasties of the past, cementing his authority. Importantly, Seljuk Bey's influence extended beyond his own Oghuz allies. The powerful states of Samanogalari and Karahanlilar recognized his abilities and sought his help. Samanogalari, under threat from the Karakhanids, appealed to Seljuk Bey for assistance. In response, Seljuk Bey and his son Arslan Yabgu led the Seljuk forces to reclaim the lost territories, marking a significant turning point. This event elevated Seljuk Bey from a local lord to a prominent leader involved in the affairs of mighty states. In gratitude, Samanogalari settled in the town of Nur under the protection of the loyal Oghuz. Meanwhile, the Oghuzes led by Arslan Yabgu migrated to Nur around 992 or 985, 86. Together, the Seljuks and Samanogalari achieved decisive victories over the Karakhanids in 1003 and 1004, establishing Seljuk Bey as a skilled military strategist and a trusted ally. The Seljuk Empire had different languages that represented its diverse culture. Persian was the main language used for communication, the royal court, education, and literature. Oghuz Turkic, the language of the ruling dynasty and the military, was important for administration and warfare. Arabic, known for its religious, legal, and scientific significance, was widely studied and used, influencing religious and intellectual discussions. This mix of languages showed the empire's cosmopolitan nature, allowing for the exchange of ideas and knowledge across different linguistic traditions. In the year 1009, Seljuk Beg, the influential leader, breathed his last in Jand, leaving behind a rich legacy. Having lived for about a century, Seljuk Beg's passing marked a significant transition in the region, setting the stage for the next chapter in Turkic history. Following the passing of Seljuk Beg, his grandsons Tugrul and Chagri emerged as key figures in the Seljuk dynasty. They led the Seljuks in a migration into Khurasan. The Battle of Dandanakan in 1040 saw the Seljuks emerge victorious, solidifying their control over Khurasan and expanding their influence into Transoxiana and Iran. Under Tugrul's leadership, the Seljuks reached as far as Baghdad, where he was acclaimed as the champion of the Abbasid Caliph, earning the esteemed title of Sultan, 
a distinction also inscribed on their coins. We hope you found this exploration of Seljuk Beg's life and legacy intriguing. We invite you to share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section below. Let us know what aspects of Turkic history or other intriguing figures you would like to see us cover next on Turkic Tales. Thank you for watching and we appreciate your continued support as we bring you more captivating stories from the Turkic world.